Hi guys, how are we doing and welcome back to another video. So today this video will hopefully be a bit more mellow, a bit more chilled because I'm going to be talking about sleep and meditation and how hopefully by meditating or doing meditative exercises and practice, uh, it, your, your sleep will improve both the speed at which you fall asleep as well as the quality of, you, of sleep you have in a given night. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I think sleep is essential. Having good quality sleep is really important for your physical health, for your mental health, for just the, being able to wake up feeling, you know, with a spring in your step, feeling good every day and ready to tackle the day, whatever that might, whatever that might throw at you. Um, and especially at the moment with lockdown, um, people have lots of other stresses going on in their life and you want to make sure that the rest and the sleep that you do get is of good quality to really help your body recover and to lessen the stress that you may experience the following day. So I wanted to see how I could improve my sleep um, by doing meditation. Now, um, if you're watching this and you think meditation is this like, I don't know, hippie thing that you sort of all sit around and do this or whatever, um, please just hold on, watch this video, because I'm going to talk a little bit about what I do and what I can't consider to be sort of meditation and meditative processes and how it has improved my sleep and my relaxation and my rest and my stress. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you get notified every time I upload. Uh, if you find this video at all useful, please hit the like button. If you want to know anything in particular about my process of um, you know, meditation, falling asleep, things like that, then comment down below. And if you haven't already, go over and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. All of the links will be in sort of the information box below this video. So uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, so sleep itself. I tend to get or aim to try and get between eight and nine hours of sleep a day. That to me um, gives me enough time for my body to sort of recover, um, for, for me physically and mentally to um, you know, re rejuvenate ready for an, another day. And when I've had that amount of good quality sleep, I wake up the following day with like a spring in my step, ready to tackle whatever the day throws at me. Um, uh, some people might think they need less sleep, others might want more. Um, you will know how much sleep you feel you need um, based on your lifestyle and based on you, right? Everyone's different. Now, having good quality sleep and being able to fall asleep effectively is really important. I mean, I know for me, for instance, there have been many things, factors that have meant I've slept for a good not eight or nine hours, but my sleep has been quite disrupted. I've been waking up during the night, I've had restless sleep, um, or I've just been sat in bed, rolling around, too hot, tossing and turning, just not being able to get to sleep in the first place. And so I wanted to see whether or not meditation, um, which I have done it during the day and in the evenings for general relaxation purposes, can improve my quality of sleep and will also help me fall asleep more quickly. Now, if you're watching this and you're genuinely just not interested in meditation, you think it's like hippy dippy stuff where people sort of sit there and hum, I completely understand that. Um, I, I would like you to sort of do your best to sit through this video and hear me out with the meditation things because I genuinely think that if people incorporate it into their lifestyle, they will it will improve, it will lower their stress, it will improve their sleep, it will give them just a general, um, it, it helps with reflection. There's lots of positives to it. Um, but even if you decide that you definitely don't want to do it, there are some factors that will improve your sleep without meditation at all. So first of all, hydration, right? Um, the more hydrated you are, the better sleep you're going to get. You sweat a lot during the evening and you sweat pints of water, right? I know that sounds disgusting, but it's true. So if you are dehydrated before you even get into bed, um, your sleep is going to be affected. So making sure that you're hydrated beforehand is really important. Um, alcohol, caffeine, these are things that you should try to reduce. Um, I mean, I've heard that drinking alcohol and drinking caffeine after a certain period of time in the day um, will negatively impact your sleep. So if you're someone who drinks a lot of coffee or you drink a lot of energy drink or you, you, you know, drink a lot of alcohol, trying to reduce that will also help um, you know, your sleep and the, and the, and the amounts that you've got. Um, devices, I know that this is this will be a touchy subject for some people, trying to leave your phone out of your bedroom, put it in a drawer, 
Um, you know, turn it on silent, put it on sleep mode so that you don't get notified and that doesn't distract you when you're trying to sleep. It's also really helpful rather than scrolling through your phone for hours on end before you're about to sleep. And also the temperature of the room is also really important. Now for me, I personally prefer a cooler environment when I'm going to sleep. I don't like to be really hot. And so depending on where you are, what time of the year it is, the country, the climate, making sure that you have put things in place to make sure that your room is nice and cool. That could be a fan, a window open, that could be air conditioned, whatever it might be, um, because you will sleep much better. You'll have a, a, a good night's sleep if your bedroom and your sleeping environment is that little bit cooler. I know we all like our creature comforts and we all like to be nice and snuggly and warm. You will naturally be warm in bed anyway, but going to sleep in a cool environment is generally better. Okay, so let's get into the main topic, meditation, and how I have incorporated that into sort of my day to help me improve my sleep. So I have done certain meditative practices in the past. Um, I have meditated during the day when I've been felt, felt particularly stressed, especially on the weekend if I've been at home. Um, I have done certain yoga classes where there has been an element of meditation involved, where you just have a moment of peace, a moment of silence where you know, you keep your eyes closed, you listen to what's going on around you, you focus on your breathing, um, you think and consider where in the body do you have certain stresses, do you have aches and pains, do you potentially have a nagging injury that you're trying to ignore, all those kind of things. And you really are like reflecting um, inside, you're going, you're sort of internalizing things and you're thinking, okay, what am I sort of stressed about? What am I holding on to emotionally and physically that I can let go of? And I think that it's a really nice point um, to know that by doing this, you are really letting yourself fully relax. And it's a practice that I think everyone should try and incorporate into their lifestyles. Now, I use or have been using the app Headspace. Um, it's quite a common and popular app. A lot of people use it. And if you're a bit unsure about meditation or you you know, you know don't know what it is or you, you want to try it but you don't know how, I would highly recommend downloading Headspace. There are a variety of different meditative practices on there and exercises you can do and they talk you through it and it's a really nice easy thing to do that you can incorporate into your day and it generally will improve your overall mental and physical health and as I say if you incorporate it into your evening routine it can also help improve your sleep as well. So what I've been doing is before bed, I do my normal routine of cleaning my teeth and things like that. I will make sure that I am ready, got my alarm set for the next day if I'm getting up for work, for instance. And then I will just take a moment, I will keep my bedside lamp on. Um, sometimes I turn it off depending on how I'm feeling. And I'll either sit like I am now with a nice cross leg position where I feel comfortable, or I sort of lean back into the cushions and the pillows that I've got on my bed slightly. And I just go through the process of listening um, to the, the headspace recording that, that I have chosen for that evening. Um, and I do this sort of 20, 30 minutes before bed. And then basically as soon as the headspace session is done and I've finished and I feel nice and relaxed, I then turn my lamp off, I sort of pull the cover over, roll to my side and then fall asleep. And I have personally found it is a really nice relaxing way to wrap my day up, I've put my phone onto sort of silent, um, I've put it onto sort of do not disturb sleep modes and you know there's no buzzing from social media or emails or anything like that. And it's just a really nice relaxing way of getting into sleep and settling into bed because often you know you've had a busy day, you're rushing around, you're cooking, you're doing this, you're doing that, you sort of clean your teeth, throw the bed sheets back, jump in and you've still got all of those things racing through your mind and your body's not been able to properly relax. So by incorporating sort of a sort of 10, 15, 20, even 30 minute meditation just before sleep, it helps mentally and physically relax you. Any tension, like I said, that you might have, you, you think about and you relax your shoulders, your back, your legs, everything relaxes. You clear anything out of your head that's been stressing you throughout the day and it leads you nicely into a nice peaceful uh, sleep and it really does help. So how do I know it helps? Well. The last video I put out was a review of my Garmin Forerunner 45S watch. And as part of that review, I spoke about a function that my watch has where it can track my sleep. And I have kept my watch on every night for the sort of the last two weeks. And um, I have made sure that I have done my meditative process just before bed, like I've said, and then I go to sleep. And I have been able to track over a number of days 
how when I have incorporated that meditative process before I go to sleep, how it has then affected my sleep. Now, the first thing I can say is when I do it, I fall asleep almost immediately because my whole body's relaxed, I'm chilled. I've got no thoughts going racing through my head. Like if I've done any exercise that day or I've worked out, I've gone for a run, like my body, because I've sat and thought about it, I've allowed my muscles to relax and to chill and I just fall asleep immediately. One thing that I have also noticed, having looked back on my Garmin app, is that the amount of sleep has been consistent. So I've always gone to bed at around the 9, 9.30 p.m. mark, and keeping consistent with when you go to bed and when you wake up, I think is really important for good sleep. And I'm waking up at around 20 past six because I've got to go to work. Uh, and I find that even when I don't have my alarm on in the weekend, I'm waking up around that time anyway. So a little bit later, seven, eight a.m. sometimes, but yeah. Um, and I've noticed that I get about two and a half to three hours of REM sleep, which is rapid eye movement sleep, an hour and a half to two hours of deep sleep, and then I get sort of a three, four, five hours sort of slot of light sleep. And obviously there are certain factors that are external to me, such as a car alarm might go off or something might happen within my flat, like, I don't know, like general noise that might disturb me and affect my sleep. And so there are a few occasions throughout the week where I've had a moment where I've woken up or maybe I need the toilet, for instance. But for the most part, my sleep has been very consistent and I have noticed that the amount of REM sleep, deep sleep and light sleep that I have has been pretty, pretty similar each day. And I do largely put that consistency down to the meditation that I've been doing before going to bed. So it's definitely worth trying. Now, as a final point, because when you are doing any kind of like experiment, I suppose, uh, it's always good to have a, a sort of a counter argument or have um, a, uh, a, I suppose, a part of the sort of study that shows normal sleeping patterns. Now, I have had a little look at my sleeping patterns when I wasn't doing meditation, but because it helps me get to sleep now, it's like I just want to do it and I enjoy doing it. It's part of my evening that I look forward to. But today is Sunday. It is Sunday afternoon, actually, at the time of filming this video. Um, last night, I had a later night. I didn't get to bed till like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And I had a couple of glasses of wine, listening to some music. And obviously wine, it, you know, alcohol heats you up. Like I say, it's not something that I recommend drinking lots of before bed. Um, but what I noticed was although I fell asleep quite quickly, probably because I had been drinking, um, the, the amount of sleep I got was less. So I woke up really early still. Um, so I felt, woke up feeling groggy because I, I didn't get to bed until quite late. Um, but also the amount of light sleep that I had was much shorter. So it was interesting, my deep sleep and my REM sleep was the same, so I got that deep sleep that I would need. But the amount of light sleep that I, I had was much shorter. I only had like three, two or three hours. Whereas normally throughout the rest of the week when I was not drinking, staying hydrated, doing all those things I've already spoken about, I had like a six hour period of light sleep. And that just kind of was diminished down to like three hours. So by not meditating and by having that poor practice of drinking before I went to bed, my sleep was dramatically um, compromised and I woke up feeling drowsy. Obviously, like I said, I'd been drinking, so that didn't help. My, I was tired when I woke up and I just felt sluggish. I didn't really want to do anything this morning. Uh, I forced myself out for a walk, but as a comparison, um, yeah, it really impacted my, the quality of sleep I had and it made me wake up feeling just drowsy and not good. So there you have it guys. Um, meditation has really helped me fall asleep. It has improved and has enabled me to be very consistent with the quality of sleep I'm getting. And despite being back in work now and things being quite potentially quite stressful and busy during the day, um, I feel rejuvenated every time I wake up. So I definitely see the positive impacts of that meditation before bed. And like I say, I'm just putting headspace on. I'm not doing anything crazy and I'm just having a relaxed 10, 20 minutes before I fall asleep to, to just focus on myself. Any stuff that's going on, I'm trying to get rid of it, and, and, it's, and it's really helped. Now, if you wanna try this, I, I highly recommend it. Like I say, there's Headspace. I'm sure there are other apps or videos or, or soundscapes or whatever that you can listen to on Spotify or whatever else that you might have um, that, that will help you fall asleep. Uh, but yeah, really good. Now, obviously, if you don't have something like a smartwatch to track your sleep, um, you might not be able to see how good your sleep is over an evening and that's fine. Test how well you, how good you feel the next day. Are you waking up feeling good? 
um, is the consistency helping you stay energetic and, and and generally just mentally and physically feeling better because that's the biggest sign right um, doesn't matter what my what my watch says if I still wake up feeling sluggish and not good then I know that there's something else I need to change or improve in order to improve that sleep so there we go right hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you've found it useful as I said at the beginning if you have please hit the like button comment down below if you want to know anything specific about my evening routine or, or how I have been meditating or whatever uh, comment down below uh, and please consider subscribing guys uh, if you're new to the channel the channel is slowly growing so please consider subscribing and uh, yeah thank you for joining me today I hope you found it useful and I'll see you next time peace out <laughs>